In 2008, Rural Delivery featured Marlborough-based forester Paul Millen, who started a project looking at the potential of ground durable timber, in particular fast-growing eucalypts, for use as vineyard posts. Four years on, the tree breeding program is now running trials with several species of eucalypts, which also have potential for industrial use, flooring and decorative purposes. The New Zealand Dryland Forest Initiative was formally established in 2008. It had been developing since 2003, which is when we first identified the opportunity there was to grow durable eucalypts in New Zealand. What really was an opportunity that uh, was myself and my brother saw it was to grow naturally ground durable eucalypt timber that could be simply used as a vineyard post as an alternative to the chrome copper arsenic treated pine posts which are widely used throughout the industry. From that seed of an idea the program became more focused on the wider applications for the use of that timber. With funding we were able to get started in establishing what is the first of several sites for breeding, tree breeding of these species. What became very clear is that if you want to take any of these species that we're interested in and develop them for plantation use, that their natural properties in the wild can be traditionally genetically improved by selection. So we needed substantial funding to plant thousands of trees. We've now got three species that we think are pretty well adapted for different sites in the country. The vision for why we've established the New Zealand Drylands Initiative, and you hear the word drylands in there, is, is that these species are very well adapted to uh, areas where you get drought or summer dry conditions. So it's our east coast regions up through the um, particularly the North Island and into this northern end of the South Island, that we see the opportunity for these species having their best growth rates uh, and, and also being well adapted to growing in places where you get droughts. We think eucalypts will be an exciting option in those areas because of their um, very rapid growth again, their, their root systems which are extremely vigorous and what's another feature is that if you do harvest the coppice from the roots, the root system doesn't die like it does with say a pine tree and in fact the tree will simply regrow from the roots and that will occur if you have a fire go through the plantation as well. That, that, so, so again if you had climate change and you've got droughts and you get fire um, in, a, in a wildfire event, those species will just simply regenerate. So as a, a real, there is a real potential for them to be used for um, soil erosion. We're working here at thinning this trial of Eucalyptus persistuana planted in 2008. It's an opportunity when we're thinning out the poorer form trees to have a look at the early formation of heartwood. This disc which we've just cut is, if you were a grower, you'd be disappointed. There's not a lot of heartwood in that. You can see the colour starting to really be reinforced. The pink is showing up now and your heartwood content is probably only 20% of the entire circumference of the tree. What we're really looking for is trees that have got much greater heartwood content. We want to be able to have people grow trees where they know with a much greater surety that every tree that they grow will have well developed heartwood. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.